trend everybody's talking about, rising costs at the gas pump, the grocery store, and your electric bill. Well, now, Chief Meteorologist Bill Bellis has a way to improve your energy costs by going solar. In the last couple of years, we've really started to get noticed uh, because of all this talk about global warming. With rising energy costs, solar power may be the best way to go. Natural Light Energy Systems, a Phoenix-based company, is providing homeowners with a unique way to go green at a low cost. To manufacture these, we get our raw aluminum that comes in in, um, in blanks. And what we do is we go on ahead and go to, uh, take that to our presses and uh, press them into shape. Elio Gonzalez is talking about a solar-powered attic fan. Final assembly is, takes place where we take our solar panels, our motors, our fan blades, our flashings and our hoods, and we put them together. The temperature of a typical Phoenix attic during our summer months hits 160 degrees during the day. The idea is by placing the solar-powered fan inside your attic, you'll bring that temperature down by as much as 30 degrees. With the solar attic fan, you're going to extend the lifespan of your roof. After years of 160 degree temperatures, your underlayment, which is the paper under the shingles of your roof, becomes braille and starts to crack. So by lowering your attic temperature, you're going to extend the lifespan of your roof. The other thing you're going to do is obviously you're going to, by lowering the attic temperature, you're going to minimize the number of times that your cooling system has to jump in and out to help you. This will save you on your energy bill, and over time, the fan will definitely pay for itself. This is one of the least expensive things that a homeowner can do uh, to get into uh, being green that's uh, not uh, going to cost an arm and a leg. If you'd like to learn more about the solar attic fan, we've linked Natural Light Energy Systems to our website. Just go to abc15.com and click on 15 links. Bill Bellis, ABC 15 News.